I'm super excited because today both the cabin for us and my mom's storage shed got dropped down. So we went ahead and had it set exactly where we said it was, right behind the garden. So here er, is the garden, right here, and then here's the cabin. The big thing is that even though this little area right here is 12 foot wide, the section of grass, we had to go ahead and move the outside of this garden bed. You can see how it's edged up. It's way over there in the middle. And then two of these blackberry bushes, we went ahead and cut all the way down. The cool thing is these will come right back up whenever um, it cools down a little bit. And since I've been watering super early and we've had a little rain finally, they will, they're starting to produce green growth. You can see this green growth to this berry popping up here. So you can see we pop, cut this one down and this one, they're four feet apart. So all in all, those two are four feet, that's eight feet, and then toward the end is 12, so those three are 12 feet. Each bed is 16 foot. And so we went ahead, that's been moved, but we didn't cut the fencing down. What we're going to do now is just put back the fence post, and then you can see the fencing just kind of rolled up. So once we put the T-post back in, we'll be able to put this right here like this, right behind where the blackberry bushes are and that'll be no big deal sorry I bet the video is incredibly shaky because I'm moving that fence right now but this is the side of the cabin what we did because it's 12 foot wide and 32 feet long so it's not huge but you got to remember we spend a lot of time in the main house with my mom and her children and mostly we just need we want to put a kitchen in case we ever want to move this to the property, but we also wanted to make sure that the main thing is going to be a bathroom and a sleeping area since we're at the main house so much. And you got to keep in mind this entire property is less than an acre. It's less than three quarters acre of an acre, so we're all very close together and it doesn't take much to walk to where we're going. So here's the front side, kind of the view, I'll, here's the garden. The cool thing about this cabin is that it has these dormers up there and that lets a lot of light in, which is really cool. When we got it, somebody had already begun insulating it, but the downside was that they had covered up a bunch of windows. Luckily, we were able to just go in there. I took the step stool because I'm not very tall and went in there and just grabbed them and pulled the where they had covered the windows also with the insulation and it let a lot of light in. So here is the front of it. It's kind of near the concrete, but you see there's a good walk path. That is actually about six feet wide. And so it comes from this 12 foot section near the garden, comes all the way here. And we're gonna put a little wheelchair ramp up because our daughter is in a wheelchair. And then the cool thing is we are right here where the banana trees are, and here's the fence. We're gonna paint this fence, but we did it a little bit off so we can open the gate in either direction. What I'm actually thinking about is right here where this starts, having this fence off. And here's kind of the side view. So that's this really amazing area right here with a porch. And this is the side of it, the front door. Here are the other side dormers. So. There is no lack of light in here, which is really nice. It won't take much to cool heat and light up this place because it is so small. You can kind of see it relative to the backyard right here. And also here's the side. So I'm thinking about taking one of these wooden fence panels and putting it right here on the front edge of this, just to make this kind of like a backyard area and fence it off so that and if we didn't want to move these fence panels, we could just go right here, straight up against the cabin. And then that allows us to just let our dog out. But if we do it off the front of the cabin, right there, and put a little gate, then we can let our dog straight off the porch if all of this right here is fenced in and right back into the backyard area. So that is really convenient. If you recognize that area, that is where our ducks and geese used to be. We are in the works of getting um, chickens again because my mom really wants chickens but it is definitely going to be a minute because there's so much going on right now 
So we want to get everything fenced and ready before we start adding animals again. So here it is covered in these little windows which are open with the screens and you can already see the insulation inside. This is one of the store more portable buildings right here. Okay, so here is kind of the cabin. It is not huge, but you can have an idea. There's the steps I was talking about. It is mostly insulated. Some of it fell when moving, not a big deal. Now, these three windows up here, this vent, which we love the vent, these windows up top, the dormer windows, and also these, which ended up having a towel inside when we removed this insulation. You can see the metal, it's just metal sheeting. So they probably did that to keep it cool in here, but since we are using this more as a living space, we want all the natural lighting that we can get filling the space. I am a sucker for sunlight, so that is what we're doing. Now you can kind of get a better view of this little wonky shaped area. We're thinking we're either going to do a kitchen in here or a bathroom. We do cook a lot in the other house, pretty much all mills. We want to get a huge griddle for the porch, but... This could, if we wanted, you know, we were sick, we wanted to stay in here a little bit for a day, rainy day, whatever, it would work as a kitchen. But also, because our daughter is in a wheelchair and she needs specialized bath equipment, we would have to have a full-size tub. So we did talk about just using my parents' bathroom and just putting a stand-up shower in here for the rest of us. The reality is, is that they'll always be hanging out here. We'll always be hanging out here. We're very close knit. So it really doesn't matter. It's just whatever works for us. And then when we buy property next year, we're going to be putting a very large cabin out there. I think 60 by 24. Um, and my parents will also be putting one. So we'll live together on this property, but we'll also live together on the big property close to my husband's work which will be awesome during hunting season raising poultry in large numbers everything else i think it will be all around good for our family i never thought that i would be raising my family with my parents while they are raising their younger children but honestly it has been such a blessing the last week or two um you were amazed how well they all work together how they help each other with their homework since they're all seven homeschooled how they band together. I'm so proud of them and it has been so much easier having the girls to help with our daughter for sure. So up here is the, like a little loft area and it's actually big enough that the boys could probably fit up there. We could probably do a tiny bed up there but we're thinking that would just be a good storage area and at first we thought it would be cool little like hide and seek area for them. An area where they can just get up out of their way, read their books, and be away from us. But the reality is our oldest could not fit up there because he is 12. Our younger two boys probably can, but I'm not sure. There is a window up there that's covered with insulation, just really thin metal like this right here. I did not take that down since that is in the storage area. I wasn't really concerned about light coming in from that area to provide for the rest of the house. I thought it's probably better that it's blocked off, but that's going to be something ultimately that I'm going to let my husband decide because that's not really a living area. We'll see what he thinks um, and what we ultimately want to do with that space. It's really small. Right now I'm just considering it like my own personal flex space, but what it is is actually the area that's above the covered porch outside. That's all that is. So you can kind of see where the previous owners, because this is, we bought it was pre-used where they put the, this up here for like a um, curtains across the top, probably, to keep light out and everything else. They started to put in insulation everywhere, so everything is insulated. Let me kind of show you the whole roof area here. It is completely insulated. I'm going to turn. I apologize if it makes any of you kind of dizzy. So this gives you a good idea. Of just the whole structure here's the let me step back here's this wall and then it kind of turns here just like this and I'm gonna turn and this is the final wall back here and the largest wall because 
it is a little wonky shaped thanks to the built-in porch that's why it's recessed in a little bit but it is overall pretty awesome i think and i just love these dormer areas so much i think they are so pretty my husband and i were talking and i was saying you know our kids are starting to get older we only have um about five years until our oldest is a grown man which is crazy to think so man and in five years our second boy will already be turning 15 so they are aging up really fast out of nowhere and pretty soon it'll just be us and our daughter and then we won't need a ton of space so this will work for that too if we eventually want to move it somewhere else or to the property it just kind of all worked out and then you can see right here behind this insulation is actually a metal that thin metal insulation right here i have no idea what it is or what it's called i'm gonna be honest guys i'm not a carpenter i have no idea what i'm doing i know how to put up tile and things like that just from what i've been self-taught or seen my family do my husband my grandfather was master carpenter any of that so what i've picked up learning or teaching myself is about all that i know as far as running electricity plumbing any of that i have no idea how to do that that's going to be my husband's job and then i still don't know what certain types of insulation are to be honest i have no idea i'll have to ask my husband he'll have a better idea um so this is just kind of the space we're working with and i'm really excited to share this because I've been talking about it. Now you can actually see it firsthand. And then I'll go stay in front of my mom's shed. It is just a storage shed. It is temporary until just so we can get all their stuff moved into the main house 100% because they're still moving um, and put their extra furniture and all of that in. And the cool thing is my parents have so much furniture from my grandparents and everything else um, that they've inherited, that I really don't have to worry about furnishing my own home. It'll be super easy to do, and then it will keep them from having to pay a storage shed, and then once they get this little red storage shed paid off, they'll move it off of the, off the concrete, put in a big shop or shed up there, so that my mom and her husband have a place to work, or he really, I guess the guys really will have a place to work and do their own thing outside. Um, he is actually really amazing with woodwork, but he has not had a place to do it for a long time. So I'm excited for him to finally have a place to do that. And then once that's moved off, this little storage shed will go in the backyard and probably be made into a small tiny home for my brother who by that time will be 18 and just need a little place to stay while he finishes school. So that is awesome. Um, he will actually graduate school next year when he turns 16. So he is way ahead of the game. And I think he plans on going to welding school after that. Okay, so here's kind of the back view of the storage area. And then on the side, we have that little concrete riser that was here from the previous shop that was here well before we bought the house it was gone long before we bought this house and here is the front area of the shed it is really nice the concrete is really hot <laughs> so let me come in here and then up top it has a storage loft here that's only a few feet wide and up here it has one that's about four feet wide but it is not a huge area here it is 10 by 16 so they have this option then they have monthly options where you can pick it all. And then here is the number from where we got it from. So it's really awesome and they deliver and they're an amazing company. They're great hard workers and they are fast guys. We bought these last week on Friday, Thursday or Friday. We purchased these and today is Monday. They've already been delivered. And here you can see how the windows are here and then the door. So once my brother decides to make this his own place when my parents get their permanent shop built, he'll probably change the doors and stuff. But he's one person, he won't need a lot of room. And like everyone else, we all eat together in the main house, we cook together, we live life together. So that'll this will just work out really well for him. Um, 
but he is 15 and already six foot three. So who knows what will happen when he actually graduates school in May and can go to welding school and kind of start having a little more independence. It's hard to let go because he's so young, even though he's graduating at such a young age, but hey, so it is so. So here it is again. It is nothing super crazy, insane or fancy, but I love it so much and I am so excited. And then I told my husband, I basically feel like a garden fairy because, ooh, got a red wasp flying around my head. It made me a little nervous. We've had a lot of those the last couple of days. So it's literally right in front of the garden. These are the tree branches we had to cut down in order to make the cabin work. This is where the old compost was. So it all needs to be cleaned up right in here. This is actually ready compost right here. All these tree branches will have to go. We had to cut those back so we could fit the cabin up. And then here is the entire garden right in here. So I'll just be able to walk out of the house and go straight in the garden. And I'm really excited to show you guys what is going to happen over the fall garden season now that we're literally right here in the garden. And you see right here, that'll be like a driveway area where we can go straight up to the house and pathway and then just clear this out and be able to walk through all the garden beds. There'll be multiple entrances and it'll be really exciting. So thank you guys for checking out everything that is going on here. I am so excited to be able to actually share this because I know I was talking about it, but it is so much better to actually be able to physically show you what it was like, what I was talking about and what that'll look like. I'm thinking the front porch would look really cute with a little swing for my daughter because she needs a special type of teardrop swing to be able to sit outside. So I think that will be lovely. And I'm not sure, but I think that all of these might actually be lights. I guess we'll find out tonight. I think they may be solar lights. I could be way off and not know what I'm talking about, which is actually pretty true. But I guess we'll find out tonight. So thank you guys for hanging out with me. And maybe if you have any ideas in mind of how to set up the inside of the cabin, let me know.